this is what I love about all hotels if they do it, but not all, hot all hotels do it. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. My name is Jill, this is It's the Donnellys, and I am a new flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. If you are new to this channel, I am so excited to have you here. Go back and take a look at some of the vlogs that we've done with our family and with vacations and with me becoming a new flight attendant. Um, I've had a lot of people who've been following lately who are new, who I think are coming for flight attendant um, content, which makes me very excited, very happy. And those of you who've been watching for a long time, thank you so much for um, being excited about my journey with me. This has been such a fun, totally different, new, unique thing for me to do, and I couldn't love it anymore. I absolutely love it. So we decided that I was talking to Mike and I'm like, you know, what do you think I should do for, for a video about flight attendant? And like, he's like, well, just answer their questions. I'm like, that's a good idea. So anyway, and I did mention that a couple of videos ago that I was going to answer some questions that you guys had, um, about being a flight attendant. And this video and this um, episode is really going to focus on hotels and what we do and how we get to where we stay and all that stuff. So this is gonna be the hotel version. So thank you so much, come along, and I will answer four questions that I've had from you guys about hotels. So the first question is, what makes for a good hotel? So, you know, we're crew and I stay in hotels, I don't know, probably 12 nights a month. Like, I stay in hotels a lot. And what makes for a good hotel? I'm going to take you on a little tour. This is one of my favorite rooms I've been in so far. Um, it is a great hotel and I will show you what some of the things are. Well, here we go. Um, first of all, that's my view. This is Austin, Texas. It is a really cool city. It's a little gray out there right now. So I'm hanging out in the hotel because I'm exhausted as well because we just flew here. But one of my favorite, favorite things about, um, about good hotels, of course, is they have to be clean. That's number one. Like that's like, clean and smell new and fresh. That's number two. The third thing that I always look for that I love is a lot of, um, a lot of outlets, for example. So look at this little piece of furniture right here has outlets on the side. Oftentimes there's, uh, there are outlets next to the bed. Now I haven't even really checked this out much. I just got in the hotel room, so I'm not sure, but let's see. Okay. Okay. There's a little Jack right there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. You guys, there's outlets right here next to the bed. That is so convenient because we have to plug in our phones, our IEFBs, um, any like my um, AirPods to charge, that kind of stuff. So having convenient outlets is awesome. Um, the other thing I really like is a nice bathroom with a great big mirror. And this is a beautiful bathroom with a big mirror. And especially this is one of my favorite things right here is this um, magnified mirror. I'm not getting any younger and to be able to see better and not have to wear my glasses, um, the magnified mirror is a number, what's that number five or four that I love. Um, and hotels these days are doing, now they're doing, instead of the little shampoos and stuff, they're doing the shampoos on the wall, which I really do like that as well. Um, I think that's so much more efficient. So it probably saves them a lot of money, but also you don't have to like open this little thing of shampoo and pour it in your hair. Like you just pump, pump done love it um also most of our hotels that we stay in have refrigerators which is really good i put my food in there because of course i travel with my food because we don't really get a chance to eat on the plane or get a chance to eat during the day we have to eat on the plane and then of course when we come in sometimes if we fly in late at night then we aren't able to get food at the restaurant at the hotel. Um, I also like a hotel that's in a great location that we can go out and walk around um, in a safe area. And I also like a hotel that has, it's great if they have like, like a coffee place where I can get my Starbucks. But, um, oh, am I, okay. This is what I love about all hotels, if they do it, but not all, all hotels do it. Look at this. This is a big thing with Disney hotels. My favorite thing is, when they make the bed and the sheets are really tight and you like get in there and you get in like a little cocoon that I love that about a hotel. Now the flip side is this among the flight attendant. Um, I don't know, like, um, 
chat rooms and things like that or chat boards you'll hear that like oh gosh i was at this hotel and they had bed bugs and and you gotta look for bed bugs and so to check for bed bugs you have to like pull all the sheets off the bed and look and i'm like that's what the best thing about a hotel bed is is like the sheets are tight so i don't want to do that so apparently there's this light thing i can get on amazon i might do that so you can see whatever but i haven't run into those issues at all knock on wood and um so far all the hotels we've stayed in have been wonderful i've liked some more than others but um for the most part <laughs> one thing that's kind of funny about a hotel um each different hotel and staying in different hotels is sometimes it's hard to figure out how to turn the hot water on in the shower which sounds like such a silly little thing but like really sometimes you're like it's you know four o'clock in the morning because you've got to get up and get ready and you know go to a, a seven o'clock flight and you cannot figure out how to turn the water on or the hot water so literally the host hotel we stayed in last night that must have been an issue because when we got our hotel keys there was a little piece of paper stapled to each hotel key telling us how to turn on the hot water <laughs> so um that is the thing the difference i would say too between like crew hotels and leisure hotels so if you're just on vacation or whatever versus like working and staying in a hotel like we literally come in we've got a few hours we go to bed we get we wake up and we go so everything sort of has to be really really efficient um so knowing how to work things um is a big deal also in some hotels they have crew rooms for us which is really nice so we there's one room that's designated that we can go and like meet other crew and there's like drinks and snacks and maybe a tv sort of a lounge in there so that is a great thing for for crew for flight attendants and pilots that get to you know travel all the time just to be able to like relax um in that kind of crew okay so that answers that question what makes the best hotel my second question is who decides where we stay so that is a great question thank you for for asking and um this is so fascinating i think so at, i don't know how it works at other airlines but at southwest there's um an organization called the cab it's called the crew accommodations board and my understanding is, I don't know if there's any paid positions with it, there probably is, but they also have people who are flight attendants and pilots um, on that board. And they get to go around and visit different hotels and um, work on negotiating deals and that kind of thing with hotels. And we have a direct line. We like, I'm not on that board, but I have a direct line to them that I could say, hey, this hotel was great, or this hotel wasn't so great, or the, you know, the, the information that you gave us about this hotel was true or not true or you know is it has been updated or needed to be updated because like sometimes they might say like oh yeah there's um there are microwaves in every room and then you're like oh geez there was not one in my room so i just want to let you know so everybody doesn't like plan their food bag to think there's gonna be a microwave in the room so just giving feedback and that kind of stuff so the crude accommodations board does that and i had the pleasure of flying with a friend julianne a couple of weeks ago and she's a flight attendant but she's also on the crew accommodations board so it was so interesting to learn from her perspective what it's like but from my perspective as a flight attendant there's like a facebook page and all this stuff that we can go and and um and learn more about the crew accommodations or uh, crew accommodations and like when a new hotel comes online or whatever we get to learn about that so it's very cool um, another question is, do we get discounts? Yes, we do. So that's another job of the crew accommodations board is to not only negotiate rates um, and hotels for us to stay in, in each of the cities where we fly, but then also to negotiate discounts. So like we might get anywhere between, let's say 20 to 40% off, maybe sometimes even 50% off of food at the hotel. Um, so they always do like drink specials and food specials, <clears throat> food discounts. Um, I'm trying to think if there's dis anything else that's discounted. Like sometimes um, the hotel might be like, oh yeah, we have a deal with this tour company or whatever. And while you're in this town, you can go on this boat ride or you can go on this tour, that kind of stuff. So that's really cool too. Um, it's really nice that the places that we go really accommodate us in a very very nice way and i would imagine it's a lucrative contract too there's a lot of flight attendants and pilots and we're coming in every day but um it's really very nice and we have a great relationship with um with with those hotels and it's they're very nice to us and we're very nice to them i hope at least we try to be so that's good um, and do we get points? That's a good question. We do not get points on our hotel stays, like loyalty points for the hotel. Um, but we do get points on like if we buy food or beverage, um, that can go towards our loyalty points for the hotel. Okay. And the last question is who pays? Who pays for the hotel? Well, Southwest does. So when we travel, um, 
we are we are working and we are on Southwest's like time clock, let's say. So um, this is how it goes when we fly, like for example, today when we flew into Austin. So we fly into Austin and we deplane. And so that means everybody gets off the plane and um, a new crew gets on if the plane's going somewhere else. And if we're done, like that's what happened today. So we finished the flight and the plane was going on to Nashville, but we were done for the day because we had already flown in from um, a different city. Two, we had two legs actually into Austin. And so the other crew gets on, then we get off and, and I was the A flight attendant today. So I can look at my app, my Southwest app, and I get to see where we're staying and what the um, transportation is like. So it would tell me like where to pick up the shuttle and that kind of stuff. And then the shuttle takes you to the hotel and then you come into the hotel and then you get, um, you know, you check in and do all that stuff. And, um, and then we stay and then the shuttle takes us the next day back to the airport. Um, and Southwest takes care of all of that. Um, they coordinate with the hotel and the hotel usually coordinates either with the shuttle company or with their own shuttles to make that happen. So as it relates to travel, it is super simple travel, which is really nice because again, like I say, we only have a few hours in each city, a few waking hours and then sleeping and then a few waking hours in the morning or whatever, depending on what time your flight is, but then to get off. So for us to have to do our own travel and transportation to and from the airport would be silly so they take care of all of it for us so it's i tell you what when i when i travel by myself now i'm like uh why aren't you here to meet me why isn't there a shuttle here to meet me because it's so nice as a flight attendant to just sort of have all that taken care of for you so you don't need to think about it so you really can just come back relax rest get the rest that you need because it takes a lot of energy um, and you always have to be on your best game, of course, at any job, but especially being a flight attendant and or a pilot. So that my friends um, is basically flight attendant and um, crew hotel information in a nutshell. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about um, my job and what it is like to be a flight attendant. Um, please ask more questions below. I love to talk about this. This is like, I, I just absolutely love my job. I know I already said that, but I just love it. And I love the company I work for like 10 times over. Um, so please um, ask me more questions. I'm happy to share them with you and I can't wait to give you more. So thanks again for watching you guys. Comment below your questions and I'll see you later. Fly happy.